Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here again with Dr. Nario. Thanks for being here, doctor. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me again. Always a pleasure. All right. So we're going to talk about a peptide again. Um, and this peptide, there's so much popularity with these GLP-1s, semaglutide and all those different weight loss medications um, originally for diabetes. But this is something that works similar. It's called amylin. And so tell us briefly, just give us an introduction to this amylin. Well, Steve, amylin is actually a 37 amino acid peptide, and it plays a role in glucose regulation or blood sugar regulation. It also prevents um, us from overeating or may maybe promoting satiety or the feeling of fullness. So it sounds familiar, right? It's almost sounding like what the GLP-1s are doing, meaning the semaglutides, the liraglutides, so these are the famous uh, popular weight loss drugs now that are out in the market. And the, the story behind this really is because now as, as the trend of many practitioners and even patients that are seeing the benefits of GLP-1s in relation to weight loss. Uh, but now we're seeing that it's not only weight loss that, that's being brought to the table with these drugs. It's also see, improving memory improving cardiac function, lowering cholesterol levels, and even um, trying to help the metabolic inflammation be lowered down. It's, so it's expanding. The benefits of this drug is just out there. But here's the caveat. People who are doing this, like the semaglutides, some, some of them are not capable of taking the effects of such. For example, the nausea. Nausea is the most common problem with, with, the, with the GLP-1s and GI problems, if it, it can be too strong for them. And also uh, another issue would be, um, again, it's just an injectable. It's too strong or it's too much. The compliance is so hard. I don't want to be poked, right? So that's why there are different ways and how to support this type of product now. And it's uh, the product called Amylin. And it's actually called in the market Cagrilintide. Okay, so... With the semaglutide, the GLP-1 type, <clears throat> um, that's, they don't just give that to anybody. That's for people who have weight problems, right? And diabetes. Okay, yeah. It can, that's how it kind of originated. But mm -hmm. So this, this new this peptide, amylin, 37 amino acids, that's kind of a longer peptide, uh, longer than all the other ones we've talked about. But is this similar? Is this something that, um, if someone's struggling or has side effects or issues with the GLP ones, that they might, you might prescribe this one? Right. So, Steve, the um, the, the thing with with Cagri, they call it Cagri for short. They want to shorten up the term and probably making a, a good, um, I guess, nickname for it in the market. So it's called Cagri. And uh, what, are the, um, what are the options here and how do you use it? So we always use it for the same benefits as GLP-1s. As I mentioned, weight loss, right? And also blood sugar regulation. And when you mentioned about should be, be this replacement for GLP-1s, uh, the thing here is it's really not. There's, there's really still a big, a big boost that you, you get in terms of weight loss when you use the GLP-1s. And uh, cagrilintide acts more of like a supporter. There are patients that I have seen that just stayed on this specific one by itself, but head-to-head -head studies had shown that um, the combination of both produced more weight loss for a patient, number one, also produced better regulation of blood sugars. That's why it's actually, it's, you know that when you're in boxing, it's like your ring guy, who, who massages you when it's it's like time out. Yeah. This yeah, is the same training. guy yeah, that massages semaglutide and say, all right, man, let's do this. Get back in the ring and let's do a better job on this one. So that's why when I use it uh, on patients, this is definitely something that I use definitely in combination with semaglutide. Do I use it by itself? Sure. There are cases that will be, for example, people who just even with the lowest dose of semaglutide, 
just ugh, they're just vomiting they can't take it all right let's do let's do just the plain cagri by itself and it does produce weight loss so it's a win-win um for for either by itself or in combination so they also have a term now when you combine these two medications as cagri sema so you would already know what type of patient you're dealing with when you hear this term so here's another question i have because I know the <clears throat> semaglutide, for example, that is for people usually, and you guys all got to talk to your own doctors about this, but is for people that are really overweight, right? But they uh, might use it for somebody. Well, yeah, see the um there. <laughs> is this one similar? Because I, I guess every doctor's opinion is different. And some doctors might give you a GLP-1 if you're 20 pounds overweight, right? Right. Well, Steve, uh, to, to be honest with you, so overweight, uh, I mean, obesity, sure, for, for sure, especially if you have comorbidities, diabetes, heart problems, high cholesterol, uh, post-stroke, sure, you, you definitely want this in your, in your team. Overweight, around, yeah, that's the next classification in your BMI category, which is 25 to 29 on the score of the BMI. Yes, you can use it, but as you can see, it's more for tweaking. Uh, that's why with, again, this is basically off-label. Um, overweight is kind of like, a, it's a gray line, but for obesity, sure. But for people who just, hey, I just want to fit in my bathing suit for the summer. Sure, there are some people who will do that just to tweak it up. Uh, but again, medically speaking, we use it more for the comorbidities. But yeah, it can be done for just like a week or two. If you if you reach your goal, you can be done with it. Okay, so um, this this new peptide is used. It sounds like you're saying, or I hear you saying, it's used in conjunction with the GLP ones. It's not you don't use it by itself. You can. You can still. But it's not can't. as strong, though, as as the, the, the semaglutides. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So how do people get this? Uh, I well, mean, see, this is, they, yeah. Go they got to find out if they're a candidate. They have to talk to their doctor. Yeah. What's the process if someone's interested in learning more about this to see if they're a candidate for this? Well, again, this is something that I probably it's it was. Oh, so let me tell you the origin of, of amylin. Uh, so basically, cagrilintide is a modified amylin um, uh, peptide. So it became uh, this uh, this brand name. Uh, actually, it started um, as uh, something that they use for type one diabetes and type two diabetes in combination with insulin. So as you can see. The heart of this medication started with the diabetes pathology. And it actually was named Pramlintide before. And it's just a very short half life. And you have to inject this three times a day. And it produced consistent weight loss in specific studies and trials. Uh, the thing here is that's a lot of injections in a day, right? We definitely cannot have a problem, uh, we cannot do that with the compliance of our busy patients that are just, man, I have to do three injections in a day. So what they did, they created CAGRI. So CAGRI is now a more long-acting, stable molecule for the use of this medication. And now, as, as people see this, that um, they can actually help diabetes, now with the resurgence the, of, of GLP-1 or semaglutide, they now actually can, they, they tested it out. So their, their first initial target was to control these blood sugars for these obese patients. But as they see that, wow, it's boosting the effects of, of, um, of semaglutide in relation to weight loss. And even um, actually the rate, weight reduction um, has been uh, seen in, in, in a very fast manner compared to just being on semaglutide alone. So when you have these two indications of obesity and blood sugar control, you're definitely a good candidate for this. But again, this is not one of my first go-tos. For always, the first go-to will be a GLP-1. Uh, but if you want to back up somebody who's, who's going to boost that GLP-1 effect up for you, you always have uh, Cagri lentide. And another one that I remember in my cases would be severe vomiting. Just cannot sit, stay on semaglutide. Cagri. Let's do Cagri. There you go. Then, then it's gone. 
but it's, it's because it's so mild, but it's also producing weight loss, but not as fast though. Okay. So is there any last advice that you would give to our listeners who are curious about this? Right. So always see your doctor, as you said, your doctor will be your best advocate for you and what's going to be the best therapy that you should be having. And also now, as you, you would see, the GLP-1s, the amylin products are resurging. This is something that we cannot stop and deny anymore. That Before, we were so fearful about this drug, just thinking that, oh, my God, this is going to be, uh, you hear a Zemphic face, a Zemphic butt, right? And it scared the, the hell out of people. But now you can see, wow, this is helping my brain. This is actually helping my heart. This is helping my muscles. And there's a place for, for this uh, type of medicine in the market. It's the thing here is you only need to make sure that you're safe, number one, and you're working with the right people. So this is out there for, for, for everybody. It's kind of new. So I want my aud our audience here to be in the loop, and we'll give you more updates as we move forward with this. Okay, that sounds great, doctor. And uh, uh, Dr. Nario is at Biointegrative Health Center in Reno, Nevada. You can find them online. If you guys have questions about this, it's really easy to just to put them in the comment section. Um, there is a watch list uh, here on YouTube for Dr. Nario where you can see all the interviews or most of them, at least all the ones I've done in 2024, are in that watch list. So, Dr. Nario, as always, thanks for being with us. Well, thank you, Steve, for having me. As always, as we all know, that our knowledge is your power to better help. And thank you for letting me provide you with the edge on longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge. <laughs>